Now look at you guys walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you could just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. It's my birthday. Uh, no, it's not. But I still look good, though. Uh, how come? How? I bet you want an autograph. For you and your friends. Gotta do it in the penthouse. That's why I keep my pen. What you can't do? Hi guys, it's Naturally Mary here once again, and today I'm here repping Private Stock Hair. Y'all know that's one of my favorite companies. I did a tutorial on how I created my curly fro with a bang in the past, and many of you guys wanted to know how I created the actual unit. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna hook you guys up. I'll be showing you all how to make a full unit using a closure, and with that closure, I'm gonna later cut the hair so that there's a bang. So then you're not having to worry about actually taking your west and circling them around and then having to create a little closure of your own. If you purchase a closure, it's the easiest way to create this look. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And it was so difficult for me to make the decision to cut this hair because the way I styled it initially, it looked amazing and I was so pleased with it. But I promised you guys this tutorial, so I had to deliver. Okay, so I started with the dome cap. After placing the dome cap on a mannequin head, I went about sewing on my closure and that's just really simple. You just place it down in the front and then just sew around. But you need to add either T-pins or you can use push pins to complete this process. I'm really no expert at sewing, so I just pretty much just sewed the best I knew how. And even if your stitching is not perfect, it's perfectly fine, don't worry. So after I sewed on the closure, I went about sewing on my wefts in the order that I mentioned before. I placed the 16 inch at the bottom, then I proceed to add the 18 inch, then the 20, and my closure just lays over the 20 at the top. After stitching and sewing the whole process, I later wash the hair and I'll show you guys that in a minute. After stitching all the bundles, you want to ensure that the scalp area is able to show or it appears to be a scalp area, so you want to cut the dome cap under the lace closure. Now to make this hair look even more natural, I'm gonna to proceed to co-wash the hair. I've said this in previous videos, if you want your hair to look the, the most natural that it possibly can, you want to start by co-washing the hair. And with co-washing, you want to use a conditioner that's gonna really moisturize the hair and create a natural look. So I use Argan Oil of Morocco. This is one of my favorite conditioners to use with my kinky curly hair. And then I proceed to define the curls using my Denman brush. And this is a modified Denman brush. I just simply took out some of the, um, the teeth in the, the brush so that it's not as damaging on my hair when I'm using it and my kinky curly hair. After co-washing the hair, I did add a leave-in by Curls. This is their Blueberry Bliss line. I am a fan of this line. I've raved about it on Instagram. And if you have not followed me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. So after I applied the leave-in conditioner, I proceeded to add my mix of products, which I've shown you all in the past. I, um, I have this mix of products that I usually use on my Kiki Curly hair. But what I found is that that mix didn't actually produce the results that I desired. So I later decided to add what appeared to be a jelly. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's actually Uncle Funky's Jelly. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put the info in the description box for you all. I applied that. But if you do not have Uncle Funky's Jelly, you can also use Miss Jessie's Cold Custard. That's a good product. As well as the Curl Maker by Camille Rose. I am such a fan of that and what that does is it creates a natural shine and it also gives the hair a hold so you're not having to go in every single day and re-moisturize the hair the shine that's on the hair from the jelly makes it look amazing okay ladies now it's time for the fun part well not so fun for me because I really didn't want to cut the hair because it looks so beautiful the way it was but I told you guys I would do it so I'm gonna actually do it so I'm just gonna pull the hair forward ensuring that I have enough scalp from the lace exposed and I'm going to begin to cut. 
So I pull the hair taut and I try to use my nose as a measure of how long the bang should potentially be. I didn't want to cut too much and then I can't take it back. So yeah, I would say your nose is a good um, guideline to use when cutting the hair for the first time. And then I just use a razor comb to go in and pretty much define the cut. So I'm gonna do that and you guys just watch the process. enjoy this tutorial and that you guys love this hair as much as I do leave your comments down below this hair is just so fly I love it. the things about private stock hair so we have brought them back to my channel and I'm gonna be doing tutorials on their particular hair for the next three months so all you're gonna be seeing is private stock hair their hair is just so bomb. I feel like they are so underrated. They don't have as much attention as they should because their hair is just so fly. I love Private Stock Hair. They are one of my favorite companies. And their hair is just so awesome. It's such a great investment because it lasts so long. On the site, they state that their hair will last up to three to four years. I have not tested that out because I haven't had one of their units or um, any of their hair for that particular particular period of time but I have had their hair for over a year and it is still looking very good so I'll be giving you guys updated on the progress of this particular hair I'll also be giving you guys feedback on many different types of hair I'm also going to be doing crochet braids using their hair I'm going to be doing um, clip-ins I'll be doing all sorts of things using their hair they have amazing premium uh, Kiki Curly wigs, they have straight wigs. What I love about Private Stock Hair is that they have so much versatility on their site. They have so many different options that you can choose from and I'm really excited to try crochet braids. Y'all know I have not done a crochet braid video. If you've been following me for a while, um, some of the videos that have the most views are my crochet braid videos and those were such poor quality so i'm ready to do some more crochet braid videos for you guys that are better quality and show you guys how to do that with human hair i think it's going to be so awesome so i'm excited i hope that you guys are excited to hear more about private stack hair and i look forward to hearing your comments and your feedback i'll see you guys in my next video guys love you bye hope that our video inspires you guys and that our love somehow radiates in a manner that just allows others to feel love and kind of spark something in marriages and relationships and somehow just ignite something. So yeah, I hope that you guys were blessed by this video and we look forward to doing more for you guys. Absolutely. Thank you guys. <laughs> Face pump. All day. <laughs> It's okay, it's coming. Oh. You're gonna edit it anyway.
Ah, vale, dice el mensaje.